ông quỳ chọc ông chúng tôi nhập ra bạc cả mặt to cái chấm lá cà này tiệm thịt sạch bạc cà hay nông đào bị thiệt cà chun từ cầu mì vị cà bị cái đây luôn luôn chí đang bị mệt nọc cả mặt to cà tăng xong rồi đánh đào cho bố sạ dày xong chơi Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, I would like to discuss a, another topic with you, um, if that's all right, with you. And more specifically, I would like to take you to uh, your statement D4023, English page 5 in the middle, uh, English ERN 0022321. French 00490909, Khmer 00165354. Now, you've been asked a very specific question by the investigators. And the question is as follows. Did you ever see them kill prisoners while you were working at the Grand Tachan office? Answer. I never saw it. Do you remember whether that was in fact your answer to the investigators? In other words, you never saw with your own eyes somebody die uh, in front of you. That's another way of phrasing it, but is that correct? Witnesses uh, Mia Soka and Sai Sen have also given testimony earlier last month uh, to this chamber. And both of them have given, have given quite graphic uh, testimony as to the killings that they said with, they witnessed at Krang Tachan. Would you be able to give some explanation as to why you never saw anything and they saw all kinds of killings happening at Krang Tachan? Thank you, Mr. President. Je vais parler en français. Je voudrais porter une objection à cette question, étant donné qu'il demande aux témoins de spéculer. Une chose est de demander au témoin ce que lui a vu, mais de savoir pourquoi les autres auraient vu et pas lui. Il me semble que là, on franchit une ligne. Il demande euh, au témoin de spéculer sur euh, les raisons pour lesquelles les autres auraient pu voir ces exécutions. Donc, je pense que cette question devrait être reformulée. Merci. Two possibilities. Two witnesses saying, testifying before this chamber, they saw all kinds of gruesome atrocities. And this witness says again, I never saw anything. Apparently, all of them were there. And I think, asking without asking to speculate, if he would know there's a reason why he didn't see anything, and they did, is within the realm of. What is possible? We could not achieve a lot of people. Thank
Firstly, the Chamber doesn't appreciate the insult to the prosecutor and suggests you stop that. Secondly, uh, the objection is um, rejected, the question is allowed. Uh, Mr. Witness, would you be able to give an explanation as to why Mia Soka and Sai Sen were able uh, to witness gruesome executions at the compound of Grand Kachan, and you didn't see any killing. But to follow up on this, it is also the testimony of Mia Soka and Sai Sen that they left the compound uh, during the day to tend the cows and the buffaloes. Um, so it seems that they were also uh, outside the inner perimeter. So my question again is how do you know, is it possible that they saw all kinds of things and you didn't see anything? La défense essaye de suggérer que à la fois Misoka et Saïsen n'auraient fait que garder des buffles ou des vaches. C'est une mauvaise représentation de ce qui a été dit. Saïsen a été clair sur son rôle. Il a expliqué qu'il avait de multiples rôles à jouer, qu'il se déplaçait à l'intérieur de l'enceinte et pas seulement à l'extérieur. Donc je crois que cette question est mal formulée et incite le témoin à l'erreur. Let me rephrase. Mr. Witness, um, you were guarding outside. Where did you sleep when you were done guarding? So you, you're, not, you're saying you didn't actually sleep within the inner compound? Is, is that your testimony? What about Duik? Uh, he was often within the inner compound, typing. Did he sleep also inside or did he sleep outside? Did he I'm asking about your, un your, member, uh, your unit member, Duik the typist. Was he sleeping uh, outside as well? เกินในขังกราวปาร์เวนโกกได้หรือมือกระมัยเกินบรรทุกจอบระบองโดยที่นี่บ้างบรรทุกข้อขณีเอ่อ let me let me I'll revisit this topic but I'll start asking you 
uh, some other questions now. Uh, same size sen that we just spoke about. Uh, gave testimony a few weeks ago uh, to this chamber. And his testimony was very, very bad about the behavior of your unit of six. Um, he gave testimony to the effect that uh, four or five cadres within your unit were in fact, um, had in fact participated in rape of a female prisoner. Do you know anything about that? So the members of your unit never raped any female prisoner? Is that your testimony? Just to be sure, Mr. Witness, let me read a passage from Sai Sen's testimony before this chamber. Um, Mr. President, it's E1257. It's um, 5 February 2015. At 10.38 in the morning, um, my question uh, to Sai Sen is as follows, and I read that to you now, Mr. Witness. Mr. Sai Sen, I say, I would like some details on what you told us yesterday. You said that a soldier or a security guard had raped two women from the mobile unit and had inserted the rifle in their vaginas. Can you tell us the name of those soldiers? Sai Sen answers, yes, it was Duik Tuch, or Small Duik, and Sain. There were two of them. My question, what is your reaction on this testimony of Sai Sen uh, about the behavior of two of your unit members? Is his testimony true or false? Now again, Mr. Witness, my question would be a bit similar to the earlier question about the killings. Do you have any idea, if it's not true, why Sai Sen would give such testimony about your unit members? Are you now saying, I don't think? Um, uh, just to be sure, are you aware or do you have knowledge about an act of rape committed by members of your fellow, fellow members of your unit? Yes or no? In other words, you're saying Sai Sen has been lying before this chamber. Is that, is that your answer? Um, but it wasn't the only thing that Sai Sen uh, said about your unit. He said some other things as well. And on the exact same page, uh, Mr. President, of that transcript of the same day, question to Sai Sen, my question. Yesterday you also talked about the massacre of two young girls. You said that the elder girl had her skull smashed against a tree and or the younger one had her skull smashed and the other one had her neck broken. Can you tell us the name of the guard who did that? That was my question. 
Soi San answers, yes, they were Sim, Moon, Sign, Twitch, or Small Twitch. So again, Mr. Witness, it seems that Soi San is giving testimony accusing fellow members of your unit of killing children. What is your reaction to that? ក្រៃខ្ញុំចាញ់មកវាលគេរំលោភយ៉ាងម៉េចខ្ញុំអត់បានដឹងណាស់កន្លែងនឹងចំណុចនឹងមួយបាទហ្នឹងបើរបាយ
Monsieur le Président, Merci Monsieur le Président. Nous avons regardé cette vidéo, cet extrait aux heures qui ont été indiquées. Cela a trait effectivement aux foies, aux vésicules biliaires qui pouvaient être extraites. Étant donné que le témoin a dit qu'il ne savait rien à ce sujet, je ne sais pas si la défense pourrait nous expliquer en quoi cela pourrait avoir un intérêt, étant donné que ce témoin en particulier n'en a pas parlé. Correct, but I thought maybe, um, let, me, let me rephrase, this is such a, at least to me, incredibly graphic uh, footage and it is um, such a, um, such an important thing of, important element of Sai Sen's testimony. So uh, my intention is to show this footage to uh, the witness and then ask him whether uh, images like this, similar like this, uh, would refresh his memory in relation to uh, gallbladders and livers being taken from that body. The chamber rejects the, um, the request to show the video to this witness at this time. Um, Given what the witness has said so far, the relevance hasn't been demonstrated by the defense just because this is graphic evidence isn't in itself good enough. But there might be a time later in the proceedings when it comes to pointing out relevant documents or pieces of evidence to show it, but it hasn't been demonstrated why it would be relevant at this point in time with this witness. Then my subsidiary or alternative request would be not to ask that particular question that I just formulated, but then um, whether he saw or has any knowledge of similar practices while he was fighting within the civil war, uh, fighting long no, uh, troops, whether he has any knowledge of this. So then my question would go back uh, to the period before 1975. Um, the reason I'm... I have particular interest in showing this footage is um, not only on a general principle that I think um, uh, the public is entitled to, um, to graphic footage sometimes that we see. Uh, I also note that uh, very recently, only two, two weeks ago, um, uh, the ambassador, uh, ambassador Sheffer used, in fact, the evidence of uh, Sai Sen as to the taking out of livers and gallbladders as an example of 
atrocities that took place in Krangtachan. And, and I would like to establish whether that was in fact something done by CPK cadres or Khmer Rouge cadres or whether it was in fact a practice um, uh, long established before that and particularly uh, engaged in by uh, law and The additional arguments uh, by the defense haven't convinced the chamber the ruling stands. Very well. um, Mr. Witness, I would like to turn now to uh, another topic. Um, and I would like to draw your attention to something that you said before the co-investigators. At page 4 of the English version, that is uh, English ERN 00223 slash, sorry, 00223210, French 00490909, and Khmer 00165354. The question all uh, at the bottom of the page is, um, when they beat and, and interrogated, what tools did they use? And you answer, they beat with clubs and weapon whips. Before I worked in that office, I heard them say that they had hung them on ropes tied around their necks. Uh, Mr. Mr. Witness, this passage has been read to you earlier by uh, the international co-prosecutor, but there's something more in your answer, and that is the following. I learned about this matter clearly from my aunt, who had been held there, and from two of my uncles as well. But it was my aunt who told me about hanging from the neck, and I know there are marks still of her neck today. Now, in the light of this answer, did you, in fact, see with your own eyes what happened during interrogation of prisoners? I understand your answer, but did you at no time while you were stationed at Krantachan enter the inner compound during the day and brought yourself in a position that you would be able to watch interrogations? Let me rephrase. Is it your testimony that in all those years, those three years, or two years, or three years that you were at Grang Tachan, you never, you were never able to watch interrogation in the interrogation room. Is that correct? Did you ever speak to any of your unit members about interrogations?
Mia Soka, the person I mentioned earlier, not only gave testimony about executions on, at Kramtachan, but also about uh, incidents of torture. Would you be able to give an explanation as to why he was able to see torture going on and you weren't? Your testimony is that only party members were allowed in, which I understand. Could you then tell us how Mia Soka and Sai Sen were able to watch interrogations? I would like to talk some more about the compound of Kang uh, Chan. Your fellow unit member uh, Duit testified, uh, I think only last week, before the chamber, and he said that there were no loudspeakers at the compound. You just said earlier uh, at the end of this uh, morning that there were, in fact, loudspeakers. Who is right? He or you? But mean con and yay mood toy panadeva. Long long con and yay and got over lot lock bar. Ah, con and yay with pan pan. I get a over lot lock pee number, mean a panang long long. I had you mean the mood coat long long. What do you mean with radio? Do you remember? Sorry. What was the main function of the speakers and the radio to listen to Radio Kampuchea? Is that what you're saying? And was that the only purpose of these loudspeakers? Would you, with your hands, be able to describe uh, the size of these loudspeakers? Do you remember anything about the volume? Uh, it 
this doesn't work for the transcript. Um, so perhaps the transcript doesn't show what you demonstrated. Can you give us measurements, if you remember, of the size of the loudspeakers? It's a long time ago, I realized, Mr. Witness, but would you be able to tell how far the volume of these two little speakers would reach how many meters you had to stand uh, in relation to these speakers to be, to be able to still hear the sound coming from these speakers. And when you were, let's say, 20 meters, 30 meters away, you wouldn't be able to hear the speakers anymore? Is that what you're saying? The reason I'm asking, Mr. Witness, is that uh, Sai Sen gave testimony to the chamber saying that uh, loudspeakers were used in order for the prisoners not to hear the screams of executions. In other words, that the volume was so loud that prisoners were not able to hear what was going on either in the interrogation room or behind it. What is your reaction to the testimony? Thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, Mr. President, I would like to go to another topic, but I see it's 20 minutes before 4. ហើយបាទអរគុណអរគុណលោកវណ្ណធិនហើយដំណើរការសម្ណាការស្ដាប់ទៅខេកម្មរបស់លោកនៅរសៀននេះអង្គជំរះផ្អាក់ត្រឹ
ลูกเมตวีบานลึกล้างเปียปอนจมวยหนึ่งทนายซ้อมออมเมียกาปะสับตะไคกามสะใสได้องจมเรียบานกำหนดการบริจัยเพื่อสนาการบรรทบปีสะใสรูปนี้ให้หนึ่งดำสัปดาห์กรอยรายสาปัญหานี้คือหางเมตวีอาอางทำเมียกาเปียปอนจุดนัดเตือนหนึ่งไอกษาได้ทำปริญญาบานทนายซ้อมปีสนมเรื่องส่งส่งบุญยอมกระดับเป็นโจลได้ส่งปีบิลีเมียปปินิดศักษาไอกษาหนุไฮเอเลนี่อองอย่างเดียดำไปเมียนมูลทานนงการไปจารณาสมรจหรือปัญหานี้ไฮปัญหานุคือเมียนเชิญวันแต่ได้ชาสถานเพียบเปรียบนี้มันต้อนได้อองอย่างเดียตระการสนับแต่สารณาตัวมดระบบเมตวีกาเปียกได้หรือสำนาสมเปียปอนจมวยนึงการสนับตะไคร่กามสะใสไอจมพวงมกคือสะใสได้เมียนฮาสเนียมปีทีซีได้ไปยูบมไปรอยใบให้นังทีซีได้ไปยูบมไปรอยบมบุญบมนอกจำนายไอสะใสเซนเทียดได้มีการเพียบเปียปอนนั่นคืออังยมเรนังตัวตูลกาสารณาจิเลเลอซอให้อังยมเรพอดอเวติกาตือรมเวติกาเปียกได้ลูกนวลชี้เป็นเปรียบเลียดดอกเดตี้นงกาลาวังฮายังปีสารณาเปียปอนนังปัญหานี่ให้เพียกีหากปริญญาหนังเพื่อกีเมตวีนอมกลำนางดำมันดำลำนี้ตะโกนเมียนเปรียบเรียดดอกในตีได้ของการชลอยตอบแต่หนึ่งสารณาเลยต่อหมดเปียปอนนังการในนี้สมชื่นลูกเมตวีเมตวีเวกตะกุเปสมอคุณลูกเทียน it's not easy to เวียมันเป็นเจียกางไอสรูล only Surgically focus on the next witness because, as you understand, we might appreciate everything is tied together. But saying it in one or two sentences, we feel that because of the magnitude of new evidence coming in, it's no longer responsible to continue with crime sites that are located in southwest zone or in northwest zone. Why that is, I will not go into now. I would like to refer to the draft motion that we sent to you earlier this morning by email. If I bring it back to the very urgent question as what to do with the upcoming witness. It is our position, like I said, that we should stop altogether. However, we have no interest at all in slowing down the proceedings. That is not our intention. So that's why we formulated an alternative, and that is that we, in principle, could continue with witnesses who give testimony or are able to give testimony about things that happened at Krang Tachan. There are some other guards, I think, still scheduled. Uh, we wouldn't also have problems with if there are any witnesses who can testify as to what happened on the ground, uh, grassroots, as you will. Uh, we have had witnesses uh, earlier. However, the moment we start speaking about tomorrow's witness uh, or the witness that follows, we are entering into um, the structure uh, not only within District 105, but also uh, Sector 13 and other sectors, and ultimately the South West Zone. Uh, just to give you some, some, some figures, um, in the disclosed statements, which are about uh, almost 3,000 pages, uh, we did a word search on uh, a few things just to give you an idea. Uh, in the binders that were given to us in the new statements of case 3 and 4, the word sector 30 is mentioned 69 times. District 105 is mentioned um, 8 times. Office 204 is mentioned 35 times. Trump Cock is mentioned 212 times. Case 4 is in essence about uh, events that unfolded uh, in the southwest zone in general, but also in District 105 and um, Sector 13 uh, of that zone. 
just to, uh, to elaborate a bit on that, if you, I'm not quite sure how to, uh, how to uh, approach this, but if you have a look, uh, Mr. President, at uh, one of the statements that tomorrow's potential witness gave to the investigators, that is um, D119-82 on page 10. Uh, he is extensively being confronted with testimony uh, of a person that, uh, well, was indicted in absentia yesterday. Um, and whatever she is uh, saying or will be saying uh, in that case whatever other witnesses have said about uh, her in that case are all extremely relevant, I think, for our uh, case. Tomorrow's witness is about uh, structure, uh, about uh, lines of communication between the districts uh, and the sectors and ultimately the zone. So um, I think, and I'm not even talking about the practical impossibility of dealing with so much new evidence. I think we should step away uh, as soon as we can from Krang Ta Chan, not go into any crime sites in the northwest zone, but move away to safer areas, safer grounds. And uh, the suggested 1st January dam, I think as the next segment would be uh, a, a plausible alternative. And because we do not want to um, delay the proceedings, we, are, we have given an alternative, and that is to continue with guards uh, or potentially other prisoners within Kukrang Tachan. Um, by offering this solution, I think um, no irreparable damage uh, will be done. Uh, but I think it is important that we realize the magnitude of what's happening. Uh, and that's why I would really uh, seek the possibility to discuss this issue at length and, and not uh, now be forced to micro or to zoom in only as to the next week. I understand the request, but I think uh, we have reached such a fundamental issue. Uh, it is such a fundamental debate. What we should do with case 3 and 4, entering uh, uh, case 2, that we should have, and I think that's one of the points that we should have to schedule a trial management as soon as possible uh, to discuss how we should proceed further. But for uh, tomorrow, I really think uh, we should not be hearing uh, the witness. And also, the other one uh, mentioned he is also somebody on uh, district level who has been asked all kinds of questions about sectors and about uh, events that happened within the zone. And that is the topic that has been, uh, that these are the topics that are being investigated, maybe right now still, uh, by the international So, again, zooming in only about uh, on tomorrow's witness, I think he should not be called. I think we should uh, turn to an alternative. Um, and that could be any of the, I think, two or even three remaining uh, uh, guards or guards. ກູຕະກອງຫາສາຍໃສ່ <coughs> 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 ទីមួយខ្ញុំចង់លើកអំពីការចាត់ឲ្យមានការពិភាក្សាឡើងនៅលើបញ្ហានេះដោយអាយទៅលើរយៈពេលដល់ อ่าได้ជាបញ្ហាមួយដែលមានកាលលំបាកសម្រាប់យើងដែរតែទោះយ៉ាងណាក៏ដោយខ្ញុំអ่า
đã ai ao dương ai thưa cả bàn anh ấy sắm lập cả chặt cả lừa cả phía xa lừa cào đòi lấy chấm phù sắm na anh ấy chỉ cầm xa dương miền ca lồng bạc trần á sắm lập cầm dương đòi xa ngày trăng này dương tôm được tuột cả bắt đầu thêm được ai cả xa chấm luôn pi chrono thông tiết pi xã phía nhà đã tiếp tại thưa cả bỏ phải ao được chưa này ai cả xa đại miền gần lo máu này vì vì miền phía lồng bạc sầm rạp dương đối khi nương bành hạ bỏ phải phía xa này đấy đối xa dương phải chi phía xa bằng chi phía xa phía xa thầm trở lại và đối chưa này bành hạ phía xa này vì chi chậm nón môi sầm rạp dương hai từ lưỡi ai cả xa đại đọ chân pi sầm đồng riêng sơn sơn bay đường sơn sơn buôn là tam ca sơn sơn bỏ sạp về nhá hay bành hạ mũi tiết dương mới khơi những ông pi ca lồng bạ rồi bỏ dương đã mình miên lát tập hiệp các đồng ca chôn từ lơ ai cả sàn nông trường sống ở thì lục lục mới được vi dương pi ní dương miên hôm nay pi tai mùi pi để tì tí dương trong đấng ông pi bành hà phải chôm trường lai rồi bỏ phe ký bẹ pon nâng ca sẽ đáp được khay cam sạ dây rồi bay rồi bay nâng rồi bay rồi rồi buồn để ông nhầm đẹp ban cầm nót cao bị phe đáp thưa sạm nạc cá cho bà lo hơi sắp tới ngày nì ông nhầm đẹp ban từ tuôn nơi dầm nào sống phí bê tư bì nguồn chí xong ở dương phá á sạm nạc ca ca sạm nạc phá á sạm nạc ca vì mình mình chỉ càng nghe thư lùi tế ách nghe thư lùi dì bù phía ký vấn tế vì mình mình nghe thư lùi dì bù ông nhầm đẹp vì bù ông nhầm đẹp trời bà chôm cho mùi nâng xa thiên đại chân hay đây ban chỉ ca cầm rung việc trong khai ca ta cầm hiệp không ca cầm nọt sạm nạc ca mình thư hay mà thư đã chìa việc chạy đón mà đào hơi lực ở đây chân này dưới thọp lược và đòn hay mà đòn tiết đây sang bù là hết bánh hả cả đại cả xa thầm mấy đại phía kì thằng kháng mình mình nào cả dưới lây phía là mình nào cả lấy nâng lây phía mình nào cả hơi hơi cả đại cả xa thầm đại đại mô rìa riêng xa nào xong ôi mình ôi thư xạm nạc cá ôi lược xạm nạc cá thằng ngày xa ai ní cứ tâm đạng ngày ní đây chìa phía xa ông lê lại tế dưới mà phía hợp hơi mấy xong bây giờ phía xa khám ái thì mình biên phong, dương từ phân bay nẹ bỏ bài phía xa đi Dương chọn đăng phút bảo cốt thập bì hẹt phá thương ngôn thương ngôi dạng mách Đại nôm ai Sẽ nào xong nè Ta ông nhìn đẹp cua từ tuốt rưu mình từ tuốt Lơ ca Lơ xa mà ca xa mẹp xa xây Bây bầm bây rồi bây nâng bầm bây rồi bầm buồn Chọn phút bánh hạ đồ tây tiết Dương tục bây bởi lý ai mẹ tử bì ca bì khá đầy nguồn chí Đã xa ra nà dây lê lê à xo Hãy đảm bày ở phía kỳ nâng miền cài chlói 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 khăn nha Vô dựng đọc rai bán phê bởi lý cho phụ mộc nè Chân bỏ mà lớn nha dương cầm nọt phê bởi lý thá Bánh hà để dương nâng xua sạ đạp sạ khai cam sạ xây phía xa ạch đừng nghịch nâng Nâng đàm sạp đá khói nè Chân bố sạ xây phía rùm nâng miền mặt tệ dự bò dàng mạch Và lục thiết chung cầm bông chấm riêng phía bánh hà lục bạc nha hãy đòi xa Ai cả xa tiếng ổn để đại chô nè Vìa cho phía bón tên n hai bà sinh chia xã xây đại chia cam mập ba nơi không mình tiệc ăn thì chán nó còn mà chơi hay như mình ban bình nước từ lửa ai cả xa đại tiệc tôn từ nâng ông hai đại nơi chung vinh đi ban khập khoản anh việt phu ao miền ca lồng bạ đòi dưới đối trong ban chấm điểm chủ nằm bàn bàn hết xong bây giờ ai cả xa đại ban đòi ao dưới nó cứ tập tại ban từ tu nơi russia về thái trung tây đối với này vì miền ca lồng bạ hay sầm rạp chương hay chỉ rúm cứ thay dương sầm rạp cầm dương cứ cầm tro ca sna oi pa sạm na ca ní hay sầm oi ong trung nhung rẽ pin nứt từ lời ca bắt đầu pe vi lia krup kron sầm rạp ca trung nứt từ lời ai cả sa ni phong vi pro tha ai cả sa đại miền tầm hôm rọp bòn tầm bó vi trời ca pe vi lia sầm sọp đầm bay thuê ca pin nứt ba sầm ao cun ba ao cun ai mẹ bắt đầu bị từ ca chun từ Tổng mắt, à, dùm dây cho cầm tổng mắt là vậy Oui, Monsieur le Président, je vais être très court. Je demanderai à la défense de m'interrompre si, si ce que je dis est inexact. Mais il me semble que si on se concentre sur les témoins de 1803 et 1809, les déclarations les concernant qui proviennent des dossiers 3 et 4 ont été mises à leur disposition le 16 octobre de l'année dernière. Après avoir été refusées, elles ont été acceptées par la défense de Mounchir le 4 novembre. 
C'était à l'audience du 23 février 2015. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'll try to be as brief as I can. Uh, I do agree that there should be more discussion of the broader issues later. But let me focus on the two witnesses, and particularly the witness who's scheduled for tomorrow. I note uh, for the record that um, 809. Um, 2C, TCW 809 had originally been scheduled to follow, but has now been postponed until um, almost the end of this month. So I think the issues with respect to 809 are not as, as pressing. Um, there has been no showing at all by the defense of a reason to postpone the testimony of this witness. It is not sufficient to come in here and and say that there are a large number of, of new statements. In fact, uh, of the new statements, that there was a group of 20 and a group of 90 that were disclosed last week, the week before. There are only 10 of those interviews that relate to Tram Pak and Krang to Chan. I've been through them word by word. There is only one of those 10 interviews that has any mention of the upcoming witness. Only one. And that person their testimony about the upcoming witnesses is limited to this. That the person was district secretary in 1978 and presided over meetings attended by the commune chiefs. That is the sum total of the evidence relating to the upcoming witness in these interviews that were recently disclosed. That information, I would know, is well known to everyone. It is something that has been testified by numerous other witnesses who are part of the case file. So our first position, Your Honor, is that it's essential that these matters be decided based on a showing of good cause, a showing of specific information. There is no reason to delay this witness. Uh, in our submission, there is no reason to delay any Tramcock witnesses. There is nothing in any of these new interviews uh, that warrants a delay in hearing further a Tramcock testimony. Um, so something is clear. Uh, the statements that were delivered uh, today were not new statements. These were additional translations. Uh, what has happened is because the defense doesn't have electronic access uh, to, the, uh, to these records, um, when new, state, when new uh, uh, translations of the interviews already disclosed are posted, they don't have access to the new translations. Uh, so what they received today were not new interviews. These were just additional uh, new translations of previously disclosed interviews. Um, 
last uh, most of the argument I've heard is based on a general complaint about the number of statements. Let me just say this. Uh, case file 2 uh, involves over 20,000 documents. It is a large case file. Noon Che as counsel last week when they were listing documents for a single witness that they suggested they were going to use in half a day of questioning listed more documents than the number of interviews we're talking about here. They had a break. You gave them a number of days. They say it's not enough. I can't comment on that. All I can say is they need to divide these interviews up um, amongst the team, and I would think that they would have had sufficient time. In the prosecution's office, we're not only obliged to read these interviews. While we're doing this trial, we have to re read all interviews that come in on cases three or four. We then have to identify what issues they relate to. Then we have to file motions and go through that whole process ourselves and do summaries of them. At the same time as we are doing uh, an appeal response. So I, I understand, all of us here understand the demands of, of these trials. But from our perspective, there is simply no, no good cause here to delay uh, the testimony of these upcoming witnesses. Uh, Merci. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Quelques courtes observations pour vous indiquer que, de notre côté, nous sommes prêts à euh, entendre le témoin 803. Que nous nous en remettons donc à la sagesse de la Chambre quant à la requête de la défense. Cela étant dit, nous sommes nous aussi face à des difficultés pratiques réelles et nous serions prêts à discuter de ces difficultés pratiques, soit à l'oral à l'occasion d'un trial management meeting, soit par écrit en réponse à la requête de Noon Chia. Les difficultés pratiques que nous, euh, auxquelles nous faisons face sont notamment liées aux conditions extrêmement strictes d'utilisation des documents qui rendent impossible un travail correct d'étude de ces documents. Nous ne pouvons pas les photocopier, nous ne pouvons pas les nous ne pouvons pas les prendre avec nous le soir ou le week-end pour travailler dessus. Nos stagiaires ne peuvent, ne peuvent pas travailler dessus. C'est absolument impossible. Vraiment impossible. Donc si nous avons une requête, euh, c'est véritablement que nous puissions discuter des conditions d'utilisation de ces documents qui rendent leur étude particulièrement ardue pour la défense et pour nous-mêmes également. That's yeah. it. We have no capacity uh, mm -hmm. to be able to process them in such a way that is um, responsible and is within the realms of effective defense. Um, I think we mentioned in our uh, motion, the prosecution comes here with six different prosecutors um, doing the examination. I'm here by myself. I have simply no time to read those documents, all of them, in such a way that I find it responsible uh, to go on with a witness in a leading position. Um, as an alternative, we offer, let's uh, uh, have a broader discussion. Let's not go with this uh, witness tomorrow. Let's find an alternative. That's why we, uh, we send a courtesy copy, so to have this uh, discussion today, 
I uh, we've never said in the last two years that we were able to do something, but this is the first time. Yes, that's right. Uh, and that's why we are here to help you to get your children out of poverty. Yes, uh, that's right. Uh, and that's why we are here to help you to get your children out of poverty. Yes, that's right. Uh, and that's why we are here to help you to get your children out of poverty. Yes, that's right. Uh, and that's why we are here to help you to get your children out of poverty. Yes, that's right. Uh, and that's why we are here to help you to get your children out of poverty. ចំពោះបញ្ហានេះនៅក្នុងលំលំពេលឆាប់ឆាប់អាកម្មមុខនេះគឺឲ្យបានមុនកាបរិច្ឆេទនៃការស្ដាប់សេចក្តីកម្ម